So this is a short, fun little video on synthetic quartz. This is a uh, purple quartz, which earns the variety amethyst. I'm using 10 power magnification with dark field illumination. And I want to show you this um, in this synthetic gem material, which is made by the hydrothermal process. And that is the only synthetic process that produces synthetic quartz. If you can see this type of growth here, it's actually undulating. It looks a little mountainous in some areas or wavy. Uh, you can see it here too. I'm using back facet lighting. Uh, it's a technique, but I'm using dark field illumination while I'm doing it. You can uh, do this with uh, many different methods, but I want to point out a bigger problem. This is the pavilion, and as you can see, we have two uh, seed plate-like inclusions. One that runs here, we have one that runs here. And now you can definitely see the difference of the two. And these tiny little white things you see in here are residue from the hydrothermal process. I'm going to give you a closer look. And a lot of people ask, uh, you know, what does it look like? Well, what it, if you could imagine some white bread, some like Wonder Bread or something, and you were to crumble it between your fingers, like roll it in between your fingers, and then drop it on your dinner plate or whatever, that's essentially what this looks like. And this, these are actually called bread crumb, in, bread crumb inclusions, which are indications that that this material was made with the hydrothermal process. I mean, there's thousands of them in this material. Now, this is more pronounced than some other materials, but I actually have a, um, a synthetic citrine, that's the yellow variety or orange variety, of course, that I'm gonna show you here. And you can actually see it in this material too. And you see how straight it is again? Here, all the way up here, and then it cuts here and then comes back. Same thing. This is not dust. I'm, I'm actually touching the surface and rubbing the pointer probe and it's not moving or being interrupted, which means that this material is inside the gem. See if I can give you a closer look on this one. And there you go. Look how sharp that edge is. It's very unnatural. You don't find that in in natural quartz. Hope you enjoyed. I'll be posting more later.